The following audio may contain the personal testimonials of some Optavia coaches or clients of Optavia. The results relayed in these messages are based on the unique experiences of the participants and we cannot guarantee like or similar outcomes. While you may be inspired by these accounts, please note that any stories of success have not been verified and your individual path to optimal health will vary. As always, it is our recommendation that you consult with a healthcare provider before starting a weight loss program. Yours in health, the Optavia team. Good evening, everyone. My name is Liz Jensen. I'm a certified health coach with Optavia, and we welcome you on the call tonight. Now, this call is mostly uh, really for anyone that wants to jump on, but we have a lot of clients um, on this call tonight. If you're a client, go ahead and jump on the chat, say where you're from, maybe how much you've lost so far, or a non-scale victory that you're noticing on your journey. Um, we also encourage anyone in their optimization phase um, to jump on these calls just to get a refresher of their healthy habits each week. But we also invite anyone that just wants to learn more about the topic that we're talking about. Tonight we have a great topic. Um, I'm excited to talk more about um, healthy habits for the whole family. Um, I'll just share my, my quick story. Um, this is me and my family. I have six kids and um, life can get pretty crazy. But about seven years ago, um, I found myself really um, in a hard spot. I was um, a little bit um, desperate. I have had, um, I, at that time, I'd have had um, four kids. I was pregnant with my fifth, and the baby weight was just coming on really quickly. And um, I noticed that after each baby, it was really a struggle to lose that weight. Um, it kind of put me in a depression, didn't want to leave the house, didn't have energy. And so I found um, Optavia at that time, and I loved that it taught healthy habits. So during that pregnancy, I really practiced my healthy habits. I started um, teaching my kids healthy habits. I love that it was all about creating a healthy lifestyle for the whole family. And that's what really attracted me to Optavia. So long story short, had that baby. Um, I loved the nursing mother's program. And this picture is actually after my last baby. Um, I lost 45 pounds and on the nursing mom's plan. And it was just such a blessing to my life. Um, I had energy again confidence. But what I really love about Optavia is that it teaches healthy habits. Um, and I was able to teach my kids. I really noticed that I was changing just how we ate as a family. Um, the healthy habits that we practiced, we were more active. I was encouraging drinking water and sleep, all the things that we learn um, on the program. So that's one thing that, that I love about this program. And so tonight, I'm just going to share some tips. And I have some friends here also that are, are going to share some tips on how we can get healthy as a family, because that we, we know that um, there's a statistic that says that we are the average of the five people that we spend the most time with. So I want you to think about that. I want you to think about that. Um, who, who do you spend the most time with in your life? With in your life. Sorry, there's, there's kind of an echo here, Russ. I don't know if that's something that we can fix, but um, for me, it was definitely my family, and I wanted to make sure that I was surrounded by health-minded people, including my kids, and so that's um, what we're going to talk about. Um, I have one of my clients and friends, and she's actually a fellow health coach now, um, Sarah, on the line, and I wanted her, I invited her on to share her story because her transformation um, is something that was really inspiring to me because she, she started this journey um, as a mission to get her whole family healthy. So let's see, Sarah, uh, if you can jump on the line, we'd love to hear your story. Let's see, her camera is off for a second. So while she tries to figure that out, I'm just gonna check out the chat really quickly. Sometimes the chat goes by so fast, I don't get a chance to look at it. But I am just seeing some amazing transformations here. Um, let's see, I see Elizabeth lost 60 pounds, 15 more to go. Lori, um, five pounds down already. Um, Denise, 37 pounds down. Uh, it goes so fast. So uh, if we could just add up the total here, that would be amazing. Uh, I love this. Let's see, someone says they can hardly hear me. So um, hopefully, we can get that fixed. All right, Don is down 33 pounds. This is amazing. If we could, if we could tally up these numbers, that would be so inspiring to hear that number. All right. Well, Sarah, um, her camera is off, and so maybe she'll jump back on. But I'll just go ahead and, and skip ahead, and um, 
if she doesn't jump on really quickly, um, one thing that I loved about Sarah is um, her husband has diabetes, had diabetes, um, and that's what attracted him to the program. He tried lots of other things and um, was really struggling with getting the weight off. And so Sarah jumped in and decided she wasn't just going to help her husband get healthy, but help her whole family get healthy. And so hopefully she'll be able to jump on and share kind of their transformation story. Um, she struggled with fibromyalgia and, um, you know, so she was able to feel better, have more energy. And I just love to see her family. That's some, it's a family that I see all the time because they play baseball um, with my kids. And um, so I was just able to see her family transform into a healthy family. So hopefully she'll jump on and, and we'll be able to hear her story um, a little bit later. But tonight we're going to talk about the high five of health. And one thing about health is we want to make this fun. Health is about, um, you know, making it fun and, and enjoying the journey. And so we're going to talk about the high five of health um, tonight. And um, that's one thing that I would encourage is, is try to make this fun with your kids. So we're going to go through kind of the five healthy habits that um, you can talk to with your kids and start incorporate, incorporating those things into their life. Let's see. I, I think I see Sarah on really quick. Sarah, you want to give me a chance to share your story really quick? Can you see me? Can you yes. hear me? Yes. <laughs> Sorry, my computer's doing something funny, so I had to jump on my phone. No problem. Okay. So thanks, Liz, for letting me share my story with you guys. Um, let me tell you a little bit of a background of um, me and my husband. We started this program last October, um, but before that, my husband was diagnosed with sleep apnea, uh, an enlarged fatty liver, type 2 diabetes, and neuropathy. And I had fibromyalgia, depression, and major headaches. So after a few months of trying to lose weight on our own and not being able to, and watching my husband's brother lose half of his foot due to complications of diabetes, and getting an email from a life insurance company telling us that um, they would insure my husband under a shorter than normal life ex expectancy policy. I'd had enough. I, it was time to change our life and not just ours, but our families because we have diabetes on both sides of our family and I didn't want my kids to have to deal with this. So we reached out to Liz who had been helping us through a couple of months and she introduced this amazing program to us. And so we started the night she came over, ordered everything and got going on it. And my husband started having his blood sugars leveled out. And so we went to the doctors to see if we could get um, his medication reduced. And while we were there, they did A1C and it came back better. And now I control everything with just a little bit of ibuprofen when it flares up. So together with this um, Habits of Health program that we've been on, we lost 140 pounds together. Wow. And not only did we lose that, but we gained our life back. We were, were able to do things with our kids, go hiking, you know, keep up with them basically. So this has really kind of been a family thing for us. Um, I've got two kids that are on medication that causes them to lose weight. And with what I've learned, with this program, I've been able to feed them, teach them how to eat properly. And we've gotten them back up to a healthy weight and been able to maintain that. Um, I have a son who is, has had stomach problems in the past um, where we'd go from three to two to three episodes a week. And because of teaching him how to eat and having those smaller meals more frequently, we've gone to maybe one or two a month. Um, so overall, it's been an amazing program for us and our family. We've started these bins that we use that the kids can take a carb and a protein and eat it for a snack or pack their own lunches for school. And they know, you know, that they're getting something healthy that's going to keep them fueled for the day. So I've loved the education part of this program because it's taught me so much on how to keep my family healthy 
and so they won't have to worry hopefully not have to worry about these diabetes that run in both sides of our family Thank you, such an inspiration. And Sarah, jump on the chat and, and look at all of the inspiring comments that people are posting. Um, just do. thank you for sharing. But thank you so much thank for you. being an example and living the habits of health and teaching your family. And thanks for yes. sharing that with us. All right, so um, moving on, we talked about these high five habits that we're gonna cover, things that you can work on with your family. And really that's, that's the purpose of Optavia. We're, we're all about breaking the chains of bad habits um, and creating healthy mind, healthy body, healthy finances for not only ourselves, but for our family. And a lot of that comes by being an example. And so a lot of what you're going to teach your kids is actually through your own example. And I know a lot of you maybe don't have kids at home. Maybe you have grandkids or, or you haven't had kids at all. Um, and that's okay because the things that we're talking about tonight, these are ways that you can inspire others, whether they're your own kids or maybe um, kids that you're around or adults that you're around, just ways that we can inspire others to be healthy. So the first topic we're going to cover is healthy sleep. Um, so I think it's really important to set a family bedtime and to get your kids into the habit of a routine at night. Kids like routine. And as adults, we need routine also. Dr. A teaches in the Habits of Health that we should set a bedtime routine. Um, and so doing that with your kids, turning off electronics at least half an hour before bedtime, um, you know, maybe a hot bath, getting, um, stories read, you know, it's just a calm environment, getting them ready for help, for sleep. That will be something that they will take with them for the rest of their life. Um, also, teaching them why they need sleep. That's one great thing about Optavia is you learn the why of getting healthy. So teaching them what you're learning about sleep and about every healthy habit so that they're educated also. Uh, all right, the next one is healthy hydration. Um, this is so important. Um, most kids do not drink very much water. And so an easy thing that you can do in your own home is to swap out the sugary drinks. Um, you know, get rid of the soda and the juice. Don't even keep it in your house. And that's one thing that I have found with all of these healthy habits is it's just about doing it. So for myself, it was, um, I was the one that does the grocery shopping. And so I just had to stop buying juice. We never drank pop, but I just had to, to stop buying juice and we started drinking more water. Um, and one thing that I do with my kids is I got them water bottles. So this is my son's water bottle. He loves to collect stickers. He's decorated it with his stickers and he takes this to school. And um, he has told me so many times, thank you for getting me that water bottle. I love it. I drink so much water now. Um, so make it fun for them. Um, also getting them in a routine of drinking water. So one thing that I encourage my kids to do is have a big glass of water before they go out the door in the morning and as soon as they get home from school. And that's something that I try to do myself. First thing in the morning, I have a big glass of water. Anytime I walk into the house from running errands, I go to the sink and get, get a glass of water. So teaching those routines. Also kind of a TMI topic, but um, whenever my kids go to the bathroom, I have them check out their urine. If it is dark um, yellow, they know that they need to go get a drink of water. So that I've taught them that um, to look, for pale, yellow, or clear urine, um, making sure that they're drinking enough water. Um, and then also teaching your kids how much water they need. And then set up your home for success, providing easy access for good water, whether you have water bottles or I have a, a filter, a Brita filter that I always have filled up that's easy to get. Um, so having good water available um, in the car, I always keep water bottles in the car um, just so that we don't have to stop and buy drinks but I encourage them to bring their water bottles with them because they see that I never leave home without my water bottle. So it's all about example. All right, I have a, a special guest, Cami, on and um, she is another health coach and client of mine. And I'm just gonna let her share her exciting transformation with us. Hi Liz, thanks for having me on. Um, it's kind of crazy, Liz asked me to do this call and today is actually my sixth health anniversary. So. Um, I was super excited and kind of, I just love that it, today was all the, the day that I was asked to do that. So um, six years ago, I found Optavia and I have been a health coach and for that long and um, have lost weight three different times. I've had um, two kids since I became a health coach and my most recent picture that you see right now, I lost 60 pounds after my fourth baby was born. Um, and I just have been able to keep that off. So it's been just a really fun journey. Um, when I found the program six years ago, I thought we were pretty healthy. 
and I really um, wanted to make a change in my home that would be long lasting. I wanted to, to break those chains and to change my kids' future right here in our home. Um, both my husband and I come from families where food is the total focus. Every event um, is centered around food. And so we knew that that was going to be a struggle for us. Um, and we just decided on day one that um, we were not going to do to take unhealthy items to family gatherings. So that was going to be our thing. We were going to always take a healthy option with us. Um, we also decided that we were never going to make two dinners. So our kids... Um, we would make one lean and green and they would learn to eat it from day one. And so the picture you see of my kids, this is not Photoshopped. This was just last week. Um, we made spaghetti squash and it wasn't cooked in any special way. Um, but I love bragging about my kids because on Facebook and Instagram, they love to see how many likes they get when I post their picture. Um, so I post pictures of them and celebrate them eating healthy. So just a couple tips that I thought of. Um, as you try to you know, incorporate these healthy habits into your family, um, include the kids in meal planning. So we have sat down and come up with two weeks worth of meals that they love and they help us with that. And we don't tell them they have to be healthy meals. We just find out what they love. So they love breakfast, dinner, they love taco night, they love homemade pizza. And we make this list with them. And then it's my job and my husband's job to go in and find healthy hacks that they don't really know is happening but to make these, th these options healthier. So example, for taco night, we always do tacos. We'll do fish tacos, chicken tacos. Um, we'll do fajitas, but you know what? We use lettuce cups instead of tortillas. We use Greek yogurt instead of sour cream. Um, little things that they don't realize is making a huge difference. Um, they will dip anything in ranch. So we make cottage cheese ranch and they know that they're getting a really good yummy dip, but it's high in protein for them. So find things that your kids and family love and find little ways to switch them up. Um, a few more little examples. We love zucchini lasagna. We've gotten really good at that. Um, we do um, rice. We do the cauliflower rice and my kids love, it's kind of strange, but they love Hawaiian haystacks. It's like um, rice with like a gravy on top. So I figured out a way to make a really um, protein heavy gravy with uh, Greek yogurt and um, lots of chicken in it. And then we cover that, the cauliflower rice with that. So little hacks. Um, another tip is to keep it simple. So don't think you have to have a big elaborate recipe. Pick a protein like the meal you're seeing on the screen. Um, that's my four year old eating a piece of Costco rotisserie chicken because that's what we had that night. We had grilled or rotisserie chicken, broccoli and spaghetti squash. Um, we always give the kids multiple options. So we'll have three or four different vegetables or fruits and tell them that they have to choose one or two. They can choose, they have to have at least, um, you know, two of these, the options that we have out. Um, celebrate their healthy choices. They love being on social media. Brag about them, tell your friends about them. Um, it's really fun for them. Um, another trick is we give the food fun names. So um, we call tomato soup is Superman soup in our house and they love it. They love Superman soup. We let them put cheese and stuff on top of it. Um, and just for reference, my oldest is 10. And then I have, as you can see in the family picture, he just turned one. So, um, you know, big range. Uh, we, we really try to make meals fun. We make a family dinner a priority. So we try to sit down for a family dinner together, which is super important. So we're not rushed. We try not to eat out very much. Um, but there's times where we're on the go. So we make sure that we have healthy options always ready. Um, chop up fruit, chop up veggies, have them in your fridge. Um, thanks, Liz. I just saw that Liz shared the cottage cheese ranch. It's awesome. Good lifesaver there. Um, we always have string cheese. There's been many nights where our dinner is actually at the ball field or at a park. And we just take, you know, rotisserie chicken chopped up and some lettuce wraps and the kids just have fun. They kind of make their own little things. So I would say my biggest tip is to make mealtime fun. Help them or let them help you cut up the vegetables. Let them help you um, push the buttons on the blend tech to make the ranch. Little things like that to make them feel invested. Um, and then they're going to love it. They get excited for dinner. They didn't like it at first, um, but I can promise you that they'll start to change their habits over time. Uh, my four-year-old that you see, I always joke with people, his most favorite meal or food 
we had it tonight is Costco Caesar salad. And that's just what he loves. He loves um, salad. And it's just really fun to see your kids just learning to grow and love those options. Um, and it just takes one step at a time. But don't think because you're on five and one or that you're trying to cook healthy, you have to cook something different for your kids. They will naturally go to the healthy foods and they'll eat what you have in your house. So that's our story. And it's just been amazing to watch our kids go through that. I became a health coach when our daughter was two. So it's been their whole life. Thank you, Cammie. And I've known Cammie for a long time. Our boys play baseball together. It seems like that's how I <laughs> meet all my friends. But um, Cammie started coaching six years ago because her why was her kids. She was a teacher and a basketball coach, and she wanted to be able to stay at home with those kids and raise them. And little did she know how much more she would impact them by creating these healthy habits for the rest of their life. So it's so fun to see these changes. And I, um, I'd love to reiterate several things that she said. Um, lean and green, cook it for your whole family. Um, so if you're having chicken and broccoli, make that and then you can add a healthy carb on, on the plate for the kids, maybe a whole grain roll or a piece of fruit or brown rice. Um, so something in addition so that they're having a complete balanced meal. If your family loves tacos, um, you can start out um, having the option of taco salad or tortillas, but Cammie found a great swap that her family loves is just using the, the lettuce as um, the shell. So kind of finding those healthy swaps. Um, in the chat, someone said, don't your kids love fast food? And that's one thing that I have found um, over the seven years of health coaching is we just don't go out for fast food. So they've, they're, they're used to it. We plan ahead, we pack things, um, for baseball games and outings that we're at. And Cammie does the same thing. We're both there with our coolers of snacks. And so we have no need to go to a fast food restaurant if you plan ahead. And, you know, once in a while, if we're on a trip or, or they get to choose where they go for their birthday, they may go there. Um, but it's, not, it's nothing that we do on a regular basis. And um, she also said that at first, it can be hard. And that's so true because um, your kids may put up a fit at first, but as long as you're consistent, it becomes a way of life and they, they adapt. Kids adapt, um, especially if you start young, but even teenagers, um, they will adapt if you're consistent. Um, and so one thing I love about this high five um, that I'm talking about is we love to high five our kids when they're making healthy choices. So Cammie talked about spotlighting them on Facebook or you know sharing their, their wins um, when they make healthy choices. But I love to give my, high, my kids a high five and remind them that they're making a healthy choice. Great job for drinking that water. That's a healthy habit. Great job for, for eating your veggies. That's so good for you. So kids love um, praise and they love to be reminded that they're doing well. Um, so we're just going to go over some, some keys on um, how to make nutrition easy for your family. So um, on the program, we teach how to balance your blood sugar. That's what the habits of health is all about learning healthy habits and how to balance our blood our blood sugar by eating carb protein balance every two to three hours and so um, you can write up a list of healthy carbs and healthy proteins and put them on the fridge so they can learn and um, know what healthy carbs and healthy proteins are um, that fruit is a carb that you know that even vegetables are a carb um, and teach them and, and in our next slide i will share an example of how to do that but teach them what healthy options are. Um, also encouraging portion control. A lot of kids eat too much and too much of the wrong thing. And so we love to just swap out those big plates. We use smaller nine inch plates. It's about the size of a paper plate. Um, and that's what our, our kids and myself, that's what we eat off of because it tricks your brain that you're eating more and you don't feel like you have to fill your plate as full. And so we always teach them, fill half of your plate with vegetables or fruit, um, a serving of um, protein and a whole grain. Um, so teaching that balance. And if they want seconds, encourage the protein or vegetables, um, you know, to make those healthier choices. And like Cami said, uh, make lean and green for the whole family. Um, if you are working on getting healthy, but you're making chicken nuggets and corn dogs for your family while you're over in the corner eating the salad, that's probably not going to last very long. It's got to be a change that you learn how to make a healthy dinner for your whole family because those are the people that you're around the most. And you can alter it a little bit, have some variety. I have a son that loves mac and cheese for some reason. And so once in a while, a couple, um, like about every couple months, we'll have some mac and cheese with our chicken and broccoli, but that will be a small portion on his plate. 
Um, it won't be his whole dinner, but he learns to eat vegetables and meat. And then you can you can start by still incorporating the things that they love and then find healthy, healthy hacks to make it a little bit healthier. Um, but doing things in moderation is so important. Um, also, swap out unhealthy choices um, as needed. So um, you kind of will know things that need to be switched out. As you're getting healthy, you're more aware. For me, it started with white bread. My kids would only eat white bread. And every time I was at the store buying bread, I felt guilty buying that. I knew that I should not be buying white bread for my, for my kids. I knew how it was spiking their blood sugar. My four-year-old only wanted toast all day long. And so I knew I needed to make that swap. And so we switched to, to whole wheat bread, whole grains, and my kids, would not eat bread for probably two months. Nobody ate sandwich or toast. Nobody, they all complained. They all threw their fits, but I stuck with it. And now they have no problem eating wheat bread. <laughs> so it just start where you kind of feel like you need to make the change. It might be not buying the soda. It might be switching out margarine, you know, for something healthier. Um, so kind of um, look at what's bugging you a little bit and start with that. Little changes, it doesn't have to be everything all at once. Uh, and then, of course, lead by example. Um, and one thing that I found is your family will generally eat what you buy. And so if you're buying healthy things, they're going to eat healthy things. If you want to cut out the junk um, in your house, don't buy the junk. And they'll get used to it. It's kind of like a detox. Um, when you started getting rid of the sugars in your body, you had to flush that out. And it was hard, but you got used to it. Um, and so that's probably the number one tip is just don't buy it. And so if you want, you know, if your kids want an ice cream cone or a cookie, go buy an ice cream cone or one cookie at the bakery instead of bringing them in your house or baking them. You kind of have to break up with um, junk food and it's an emotional process. Sometimes you have a grieving process, getting rid of those bad habits and that's okay. But the, the joy of feeling good, um, you know, that's what it's all about. Um, we're almost out of time, but I just want to share a couple um, quick tips here. You guys are going to love this. This is actually from Sarah that shared her story at the beginning of the call. Um, she has the list of the proteins and the carbs as I was teaching her how to teach her kids healthy choices. So she went once, one step above and she made these bins where she filled um, a bin with healthy carbs, um, where she has chopped up veggies. She meal prepped. She chopped up and put them in baggies, veggies, fruits, um, and then she also had whole grain crackers, air pop popcorn um, in, in serving sizes. So they're not eating out of the bag and eating too big of portions. And then she has protein bins where she has little packets of tuna, um, peanut butter or almond butter, nuts, jerky, Greek yogurt, string cheese, boiled eggs, all, um, the cottage cheese ranch dip, which has protein that they can dip with their veggies. So anytime her kids want to get a snack, they have learned that they can take a carb and a protein. They're learning that balance. And she even has some treats there um, in the middle, up on the top left. She has some trail mix with a few M&Ms and peanuts where if, you know, if they do feel like they're, they need a treat, then it's even balanced there, like adding in the protein with the nuts. Um, and so this is great. They can pack their own lunches that way, you know, choose something, a few things from each bin, but learning how um, to balance that. And um, let's see, and this has, this has the list. Again, this, is, this would be things that you would be helping your, your kids with. So if you are on the five and one, not all of these things, especially the healthy carbs, would be on your program during the weight loss phase. But during the optimization phase, this is a great tool. And this is a great way to start practicing that phase um, with your kids by teaching them right now. So hopefully, you know, that gave you some good tips. And um, just in our last minute, um, healthy mindset and stress management. That's really important to teach your kids what you're learning, living above the line, taking 10 deep breaths when you feel stressed, um, meditating, going in, taking a time out um, to calm down and not filling their schedules too full. Also learning how to reward them in a healthy way, not rewarding with food, but because that's probably habit that, that you were taught as a child, I know I was, uh, but learning to reward them with hugs or quality time um, or, you know, a fun date or stickers or something like that. Learning to break the chain of rewarding with food. Um, also teaching your family, your kids to stop, challenge, and choose. It's not all about food choices. It's also when they're going to make a choice, whether they're going to hit their brother or, or not. Uh, but stopping, challenging that thought, and then choosing. 
And then lastly is just healthy movement. Make sure that um, you're incorporating healthy movement in your life as an example, but being active as a family and learning to do things that you enjoy together. So looking for ways to be more active um, in your everyday, parking farther from the store is a great example. Taking the stairs when you have the option of elevator or stairs. Um, playing at the park instead of sitting on your phone when you're um, at the park with your kids, get out and play with them. Or when their kids come over, when their friends come over, go out and play soccer with them. Be an example of health. Um, also creating healthy traditions. I know like especially on holidays, instead of just eating every holiday, create some active healthy traditions. Going on a walk, doing a fam family fun run, uh, maybe going sledding on Christmas. These are all things that you can start creating those habits and breaking the chain of obesity and bad habits and start creating healthier habits in your life. So um, that just that wraps up our quick um, tip night of healthy habits for the whole family. I'm so glad that you guys could jump on. I wish that I had time to go through all of those chats. Um, but if you have any questions, reach out to your health coach. This is things that we all love to share and we all want to help each other to um, get better. Um, and so my challenge for you is to think of at least one thing that you learned tonight and start incorporating that in your family. Think about what areas of health you wanna work on um, with your kids and start teaching them the things that you're learning um, so that you can get healthy together and it will become a lifestyle instead of a diet. Um, so thank you for jumping on tonight. This audio may have contained the personal testimonials of some Optavia coaches or clients of Optavia. The results related in these messages are based on the unique experiences of the participants and we cannot guarantee like or similar outcomes. While you may be inspired by these accounts, please note that any stories of success have not been verified and your individual path to optimal health will vary. As always, it is our recommendation that you consult with a healthcare provider before starting a weight loss program. Yours in health, the Optavia team.